Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Chanaja G, your favorite new YouTuber. So, y'all, we have a video for you today. Okay. Ooh, jealousy, my Get away from me. I've been working all day. Can I catch a break? Keep a pretty brown girl her space. You can keep your bed and today this video is gonna bring you all of my wish list items for fall 2023 now the chanel heart bag that is a luxury wish list item that's just automatically when as soon as i seen it it just automatically went into the luxury wish list when i get the money you're gonna be that girl you're probably gonna be so much more but you're gonna be that girl but until then have y'all seen the coach bag the coach heart bag is um probably a little bit smaller i want the black one and it has like these cute gold details in it like with the um the zipper and the coach in the front now you really can't fit a lot in here but i usually only carry around like a little wallet anyways and i always have my phone in my hand even if i have a purse that's big enough to put my phone in it i still have it in my hand so i'm not too you know i don't care about the size but it is cute and I do like the chain detail and I like how you can hold it from the top. I feel like that is so cute. It's so cute. But it's, it's big enough to fit like your wallet, like a little heart wallet, your keys, or you know, if you have iPods. I don't have iPods. I already know. I will lose mine. That's why I never got them. But it is so cute and it will, like, it will crave the longing of the Chanel heart bag for me. Cause this is definitely way more in my price range it is so cute and it's double-sided on both how can you it's so cute it's really cute it's cute i want it and it'll just be like the perfect accent to uh an outfit it's that girl so the next item we're going to move on to the shishu tong black off the shoulder middress i first saw this on tiktok on a creator um of course it's gonna be right here and I fell in love with it to the point I was like where's this dress where's this dress of course it's sold out of course I'm actually thinking about making it but I like this dress because it's me in a cute you know simple black dress type because technically I would wear it every day but you can also wear it for like your holidays or like going out but it's so cute I like structure and it gives you the structure but it also has like a flow to it and it gives like it it has a bow right here and it gives the cuteness of it but it's not childish but cute I hope that makes sense because that's making sense in my head it's so cute and I don't mind it being short because it flares out type thing it's so cute in the off the shoulder oh, the white detail I love it I absolutely love it now I feel like if you're in fashion you have at least 20 Pinterest boards on your Pinterest so when I was like just strolling through Pinterest I saw this and I became obsessed with it like I, I saw it like a year ago and I was like, oh, I need this. I need this. This is the black fur, black faux fur burlow. I hope I'm saying that right. Is it bar, ar, barrio? I know I'm not saying that right. But y'all, it gives the, it gives the friend fine. It gives the classy, sexy, elegant type. It gives the, <sighs> dynasty like this is your costume it gives like i'm the rich auntie and you know i play the part correctly i love this i love this so much it is 188 dollars but every time i look at it more and more i'm like that's nothing that's nothing it makes my heart smell because <laughs> like I know you can get something similar but with this and the cut and the fur and how full the fur is around the um wrist and in this area like this cleavage like the shoulders oh my gosh 
I need this in my life. I also see me wearing this during winter, even though I live in Georgia and it'd be hot. I saw these at work at Dillard's and I fell in love with them. I'm gonna say that a lot because I have fell in love with these items, but they don't have my size. And when I looked them up, they really don't carry this colorway anymore. This is the Coach Lee Jacquard Loafer in the cream. I only want it in the cream. And I feel like this would be like a cute casual outfit type thing where like just white t-shirt, jeans, I'm going on errands. I, I love that for this. <laughs> I love this for that. <laughs> but it don't have my size. I would need, I tried it on. Um, a 10 was not working. So I'm even thinking like I would need a 12 and not honestly think that no they, they're not making a 12 and if they do it's definitely not in the color that I want because they hate me they're trying to go against me in this world and I do not know why I don't know why if you don't know I'm telling you now I am a Versace girl and this is an item that like if you're not like a fashion girl and you're just like you just like clothing that look cute this gives me more couture in a sense this gives me you have to have that attitude to put this on and this is the round crop denim jacket because of this in the roundness people aren't really used to that they're used to the square it's just like it like kind of like blending in with their body the roundness of the jacket gives it that attitude it kind of gives me a little bit of bomb also, even though it's Versace, dare I say. I I just love it. I kind of see Beyonce wearing this too. But it's just like a, it's a statement. It's a statement jacket. You can literally put on the most basic outfit under it for the base and then come out with this jacket. Girl, everybody gonna be like, you ate. And you know what? You know what? You will be absolutely right. Because this jacket is amazing. This jacket is almost $2,000, but we're going to keep it on that luxury wish list. Yes, yes, we are at that fall luxury wish list. It is amazing. Like I said, I love structured anything. Structure anything, give it to me. And the way that it's pleated in the back, and of course the buttons, is going to have that Medusa head. Yes. Oh. And I was always that girl in middle school, high school, growing up. You're gonna see me with a denim jacket. Do I have a denim jacket now? No, I don't. Okay, so if y'all don't know this, I am an aspiring actress. I'm very green, but actress. And when I was, I, I believe it wasn't a fresh, I wasn't a freshman. I went to New Orleans for a convention, an acting convention with um, AU Theater Group. And um, I had my All But What If It Does necklace with me at the New Orleans convention. And uh, if y'all don't know, that's like Emma Stroll's, like the first time that she ever made the necklace with the actual words. And I left it there and I thought that was so ironic because you know I'm trying to be an actress and there was I was in New Orleans with them during Mardi Gras also that was really fun I should have recorded that that was amazing and I left it and I felt so sad after it like for months for months because I really kept that on the whole time I literally put it I remember I put it on on top of the mini fridge and then there's just like this area right there where you can play stuff and I put it right there in the middle so I wouldn't forget it and I forgot it. So she actually has the uh but what if it does necklace and then the 10k necklace is three hundred dollars but I really like even though I know that can't be replaced in my heart because I have such a sentimental you know value towards it I want to get this one. It's not the same. And it kind of hurts my heart that it's, it's not the same, but I feel like getting this necklace from her again, it will it will kind of be like, 
kind of fill it up a little bit just fill that void up a little bit i don't know it is cute maybe i think it's the square that's kind of taking me out of it because like i said it was actual the actual letters woven in together and this is just the vlog and then like the inscription but I think it I think it will make it full circle if I do get this again. Let's talk about this new Ivy Park collection. As I'm filming this, I only found about I only found out about it like two days ago. And I am specifically obsessed with the shorts. Obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay? And I like everything about it. Maybe because it's an all black and if all black mixed in with different textures already looks sexy so I'm I'm here for it B I'm here for it and I really thought that because it was taught that oh they were breaking up type thing breaking up that Adidas and Ivy Park parted ways I should stop listening to people for my people I had the LV earrings I did I loved it every second I loved them but I had to sell them because I was getting in some financial troubles because I was out of a job for three months so I had to sell it and ah, that hurt me it was like a knife to my heart so to kind of fill that void a little bit it's no way like a, a LV but the MK is cute it's doing its job okay I, I I'm really feeling it it's really cute it's the precious metal plated breast empire logo earrings from Michael Kors. I like it. And of course it's not $700. Right now they're actually on sale. So that's a good thing. And I, I feel like that will be a great gift for someone too that's really into um, fashioning and jewelry. And they also have different colors but of course gold. Always gold. All right, so the next thing we have is the Belgium linen dress. I will say this is not a fall item per se, but the outfit that I have in my head, I feel like you can make this fall. Of course, throw on a fall like looking jacket with some high, high, thigh high boots or any like um, boots that come up above the ankle because of the way that they're dressed up. You don't want an ankle boot. You want something a little bit more higher I feel like but it is cute I am mad that I want it in white so I can really balance off the you know the neutral colors of fall type thing but it's kind of sold out everywhere <laughs> but that's okay that's okay because I, I am very like I'm putting my faith in the resellers hopefully they bring the price down a little bit because baby girl is over a hundred dollars baby girl is almost three hundred dollars i'm gonna also end it with another dress and this is the shako shako i know i'm saying these names wrong but this is the shako color block bodycon sweater dress and i've been looking at this for a good minute a good minute i it was more colors when i first like I didn't discover it but when I first looked at it but the only color that I'm I'm really liking right now it, it has like this blue and this indigo kind of like purple and this baby blue kind of mixed up and this this forest green and I think those colors are so pretty it's not necessarily fall but it's so pretty and I honestly think that um I don't it's more than one way to wear this it's more than one way to style this so i think this will be like a fun type thing to wear in the fall but like i can also bring it out in spring summer but probably like spring when it starts to get that little you know in between season because i know i can't do i can't do fall i mean i can't do summer here but if you like this video make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe so you can see all my videos this week yes i know i did this i tried to do this before where i was like oh i'm gonna post every week and i have it i'm posting every week i'm posting every week and i'm so excited so tune in at 11 o'clock and i will see y'all again my loves thank you for watching my video y'all have a great day bye Give a pretty brown girl her space. You can keep your bitter. I'ma make a better way. Hey, hey.
Catch a break. Better wait.